178 world leaders gathered in Rio They're today. They're calling it the summit that will save the planet. But will it make a difference? For 20 years, we have followed the lives of 11 children, all born at the time of the Rio Earth Summit. The first time world leaders had got together to promise future generations a better world. We wanted to know if the promise of the Earth Summit was fulfilled in their lives. Now, in 2012, there's a new Earth Summit in Rio. And we've returned to each child to discover what lessons their lives have to offer. Hayley was born in St Helens, a small town in the north of England. She lives in an apartment provided by the government. Like many young people her age, she's struggling to find work. The only thing that's happened to our town is things shutting down. Companies going into liquidation, not being able to afford the rent of the shop. Just to close it down. It's easier, nothing's in it, shut it. But St Helens wasn't always like this. We first met Haley's parents a few weeks before she was born. I'd really like to be more than a mother to my child. I'd like to be a friend as well. I think I would like a little girl. That's it right there. Yeah. To be truthful, I don't mind. I won't be disappointed either way. As long as Lynn's healthy and the baby's healthy. Hello, Shotty. <laughs> Hello, sweet. In 1992, Haley's dad, Brian, was a miner. But his job was under threat. Scenes at Lancashire's biggest pit at... He and his wife, Lynn, campaigned against the closure of the local pit, the town's main source of employment. They feared the threatened closure would destroy their community. You look at the, the state of affairs and what's going on in the world and you think, is it a right thing to do to bring a child into all this? These children now, they're our future. And if we educate them right, maybe, maybe these children can change the world in which we live in. Lynn has a potentially dangerous condition called hydrocephalus. She has excess fluid on her brain. A natural birth was considered too risky for her and the baby. Lynn's best hope was to have a caesarean. She was right. Congratulations. What weight is she? Six pound five. Everything's there. She's lovely. Soon after her birth, Haley's parents and the miners lost the battle to save their pit. What's the most powerful country in the world? England. Because I've lived in England all my life and it seems really important to me. English people are kind and considerate and nice to each other. Right, so what are you going to pictures for? Watching Thunderpants. As Hayley grew up, her dad Brian <laughs> worked a number of freelance jobs. Thunders in his pants? Yeah. With his earnings, they were able to pay the mortgage and the family's basic needs, as well as a few extras. Dad, can I have some money to get some popcorn? Money, 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 money. The biggest fear I've got is on the job security side. Brian is like the only wage earner. And when your other jobs have gone, it's been devastating, hasn't it? Another 10 years. I don't know. I wish I did know what was going to happen. I don't want to. No? I don't want to know what's going to happen mm. in, ten, you know, in ten years' time. When you grow up, what would the world be like? A smaller. Think about when you were ten and how the world is now. Life changed because mm, Dad split up.
How was that? It was hard. <laughs> Hayley's parents separated in 2003. Not long after, Hayley's mum became seriously ill when doctors failed to recognise that her condition was worsening. As a result, Lynn is now partially blind. She's had a lot to cope with and she basically turned from my little girl you know, with her own life, her own friends, into, into my carer. And that also has made her have to grow up rather quickly. In essence, I suppose she's been robbed of her childhood. At first it was hard because just to argue with my mum or my dad over, well, you don't, you can't do this and you can't do that sort of thing. That's what made me move out. I want to be independent and I don't want someone telling me what I can and can't do. I was just turning 17 when I moved out. Dad! When you're growing up, aren't you? You're older than Don't live here anymore, that's why. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I'm an ogre, am I? Yeah. Just a big bad ogre. <laughs> Shrek. OK? No. For an 18-year-old now who's struggling to find work, I think it's a very hard and a very difficult time for them. So where were they? In the back of Palm Breaker. <laughs> Marketplace to me just seems to be fast food, takeaway, shops, retail, sales. That seems to be the only market that you ever see any any work these days. Haley's generation, I don't think they'll be as well off as I am. Maybe have I had the better part of it? And what does the future have in store? for these young, this younger generation. And all this under here, this is all old slag from pit. So underneath us now, there's loads of tunnels everywhere. Good though, wow, it's just in mist, isn't it? It's weird, it looks it's weird. It's like you're making a face out of clouds, isn't it? Yeah. Ex terra lucen, from the earth comes light. And the passion of the ex miners who nominated it, plus its potential regeneration impact. A giant sculpture representing a dreaming girl, dedicated to miners who, like her dad, toiled underground. I'd rather fight through it all and go to university, get a decent education, decent job and then me think about children. Yeah. Well, what are you thinking? I've had enough. <laughs> Cold? Just had enough. Should have brought a picnic with us. No, it's too cold. 